so yeah, you've you've had some chal- challenges, I guess, you know, moving around and stuff like that. Um, so what inspired you to become a accountability coach? Is that right, accountability coach? Yeah, accountability coach. It's just a it's a term that I like for myself, and I think it sort of sums up what I'm trying to achieve pretty well. And to answer your question, I mean, I I just I hit my own rock bottoms because there was a few of them, and spent an awfully long time resolving and and healing and working through a lot of those legacy issues. And when you've spent that much time on self development and and you are, you know, you're working so hard on yourself, there's a lot of there's a lot of highs. There's a lot of lows too. And what I, what I want to try and impart upon people that are open to receiving guidance is basically a, a shortcut. You know, I can help people mitigate a lot of the risk and, and gently sort of tap them. You know, it's like I compare what I like to, to do for people is to be those, you know, at the bowling alley, you got the, the, uh, the, the covers or the, the inflatable, uh, you know, cushions that block the ball going into the into the gutter, and so because like, um, so, you're going to bounce. So, so is that um like you know people? How can I say you know people when they're growing up into their twenties, they sort of it takes them a bit bit of time to like leave the nest type of thing, and they get um, handheld by their parents, and when they decide to move out of home, how can I say, they have their own challenges and they're not always successful. Is that right? Well, the trouble is with with going through any kind of trauma, Neil, Mm -hmm. is that there is, you know, as a child I'm referring to here, there's coping mechanisms that we are engineered or, or, you know, have evolved to use in order for us to not have mental breakdowns and die. Now, we are hardwired to survive the best way we can. Mm. The issue with a lot of this stuff, Neil, yeah. is that if it's left unresolved in your childhood, it tends to manifest itself in your adulthood in largely negative ways. And, then, and a lot of those things are escapism, struggling with addiction, struggling managing interpersonal and sexual relationships, you know, the list goes on. Oh, and so this is why I'm so passionate about it. Okay. So the same coming from your own experiences, um, you want to impart the knowledge that you've gained to help uh, succeed in life rather than um, disconnecting from life and doing things that are, I can't say, well, not the best for you, if you know what I mean. Is that right? Exactly, exactly. And, and, you know, like the, I, I, when I look back at my youth, I used to whittle away days and months playing video games when I was visiting my father, because that was the only place I had a, a, a Sega Master System mm-hmm. or, a, you know, eventually a PlayStation and whatever. Yeah. And I certainly loved, you know, like a lot of full on movies, a lot of, like, and then as I got into, uh, you know, my early teens and I got my hands on alcohol and access to drugs and, you know, pornography and, and you know, philandering and, you know, promiscuity, that type of thing. Yeah. They became the next level of escapism. And the beautiful thing about dealing with a lot of these demons is that when you start confronting a lot of your escapism, you start the healing process. And you no longer have the desire to escape in the same way. And and what what happens as a result, in my own experience at least, is that time that I would spend, you know, totally useless, wasted on nothing, is now being turned into massive amounts of productivity. And in the last four years, in the, in the last two years especially since I got my health sorted, my productivity levels have gone through the roof and I've achieved more, I think, in the last two years than I have in the previous 38 years I've been on the goddamn planet. Okay, yeah. I 
in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.